Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the encoder and decoders. In the last video we have seen about the multiplexer and demultiplexer. Let us see now what is a decoder and an encoder. Okay, yeah. Encoders, an encoder is a combinational circuit that converts the binary information into a form of 2 power n input lines into n output lines which represent n bit information for the input. For a simple encoders it is assumed that only one input line is active at a time. Ok so let us see the diagram of an encoder. So this is the encoder we are having 2 power n inputs and we are having the n outputs. Okay. So we yeah, are encoding in the sense we are making the particular code into some other code. That is encoding means you are getting into the other code that is called as an encoding. And decoding is we are converting the number into the decimal equivalent that is the multiple outputs. Okay. Let us see how the block diagram and the circuit diagram works for both the decoder and encoder. Let us see first the decoder block diagram and the circuit so this is the 2 by 4 binary decoder as the name implies it gets two inputs and it decodes into four outputs how four because the combination of 2 power n here input is 2 that is n is equal to 2 so for 2 power 2 is n 2 power 2 is 4 for that we are getting four outputs q0 q1 q2 and q3 so how the two table is formed here so as usual you have to write the variables a and b and they have the combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 which is 0 1 2 3 in binary value okay after that we have to write the columns for output q0 q1 q2 and q3 and how the output varies is for A0 and B0, Q0 is 1. That means the output of Q0 is enabled. That is 0. That means the value of 0, 0 is 0. So that is the case here where 1 is present in Q0 and remaining Q1, Q2, Q3 are 0. Likewise, for 0, 1 combination, the 1 position, that is the Q1 position is 1, remaining are 0. So Q0, Q2 and Q3 are 0 and likewise for 1, 0 is 2 and the position of Q2 is 1, remaining are 0 and 1, 1 means 3. So the position of Q3, the output contains 1, remaining Q0, Q1, Q2 are 0. So this is how the two table is formed for a given binary decoder ok so it decodes into the decimal value and now let us see the circuit diagram for this decoder so as we know here we are having two inputs a and b so we have to have the complement form as well as the normal form so there is an inverter for both the a and the b variable so we are having two inputs and four combinations as we have seen in the tooth table here 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so the lines are drawn similar way a b a bar and b bar okay now we are having four and gates 1 2 3 and 4 which represents the outputs q0 q1 q2 and q3 and here we know the combinations are for 0 it is 0 0 means a bar and b bar and then for the case which is a bar b so a is complemented and b is normal so that is given to the q1 and gate and for next one it is a1 and b 0 so b is complemented to give the input so q2 is equal to a b bar and finally we are having q3 a1 and b1 okay so now here we can see all the combinations q0 q1 q2 and q3 so accordingly which input is enabled the particular AND gate will be high okay so likewise as we seen in the tooth table here for a0 and b0 the answer of 
a0 that is actually a bar b bar means a bar is 1 and b bar is 1 because a and b got the value 0 0 so for the case 0 0 this AND gate is enabled remaining are disabled by the output 0 likewise for the second case a0 b1 this AND gate will have the high value that is 1 remaining 0 2 3 are low likewise we can write the combinations or the decoding values for any number of input values okay so this is how the decoder works and let us see how the encoder works let us see the truth table of the encoder as well as the block diagram so here as we know the encoder actually does this it encodes the value into some other code from the decimal value to the any other code that is the encoding okay so here we are having 8 by 3 means 8 is the number of uh, combinations of the input and 3 is the output and it is always related with the formula 2 power n. So the values are a, x, y and z 3 variables so 2 power 3 is equal to 8, 8 inputs are here. These 8 inputs represent the decimal values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 so 8 combinations 0 to 7. So let us see how the truth table is written over here. So the first case is x, y, z are 0, 0, 0. So, d1 is enabled. Sorry, d0 is enabled. That means d0 is 1 means d0 is high. That means the value of the output, the input will be, the high input is given for the d0 position. Okay. And the second case, we are having the value for d1 and the inputs, the the outputs are 0, 0, 1. Okay. So, here we can see here when you have all these combinations, we are having 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1 which is the input values that is the x, y combination values of the three variables x, y and z. Okay. So, we can see here accordingly for the zeroth value of this combination one that is d, this d naught is enabled and likewise this combination one means d1 and this is the binary equivalent 2 so d2 is high and for this uh, d3 is high we, we should have both uh, y and z to be 1 and for 4 to be high we need x to be 1 and remaining y and z are 0 and to make uh, d5 to be high we have 101 which is a high and c high that is x high and z high y is 0 and for 6 it is actually 110 so x and y are 1 and uh, z is 0 and finally for 7 we have all the variables x y z as 1 okay so this is how the encoding is done using the encoder this is how the block diagram works okay let us see the circuit diagram and how the encoder is implemented so from the truth table we have to check the how the the values okay when the input how the in how output is high based upon the input okay so it says that z is one when we are having the octal digit one three five seven or high okay so how to see from the table so this is the table for the combination z okay so when z is high z is high for this is 1 3 5 and 7 okay likewise y is a high for 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 are 0 and then 6 7 so 2 3 6 7 y is a high and x is a high for 4 5 6 and 7 okay so with this we are able to write the circuit uh, we are able to draw the circuit and write the equation here. So from the truth table we can see here Z is high when octal digit that is 1, 3, 5, 7 are high and then we are having Y is 1 when we are having 2, 3, 6 and 7 are high and finally X is high for the variables X for the digits 4, 5, 6 and 7 or 7. Okay. So how to draw the circuit diagram? The Boolean functions are written as since it is an R function we are using the R operator plus operator for X is actually D4, D5, D6 or D7 which is 4, 5, 6 or 7 and then for Y it is 
d2 d3 d6 or d7 so they are combined by the plus operator and finally for z the value is actually 1 3 5 7 which is d1 d3 d5 plus d7 okay so this is how the x y z are high based upon whether d4 d5 d6 d7 are high in the case of x or d2 d3 d6 d7 in the case of y or d1 or d3 or d5 or d7 in the case of z okay this is how uh, this is how the basic of how the circuit diagram is drawn over here so we are having this three or gates 1 2 and 3 for the variables x y and z so how to write the expression for the input and the output so it is given d4 d5 d6 and d7 so this gate x will have inputs from d4 d5 d6 and d7 from all these variables okay so the output input goes or uh, this first gate R gate all from D4, D5, D6 and D7. For the case Y it is D2, D3, D6 and D7. So Y, this is the Y variable, Y gate. So for Y gate D2 and D3 and also it is from D6 and D7. Okay. If you cross, reject the line we can find out. And finally for Z it is D1, D3. So D1 it is going to here and then D3 it comes over here and then for D5 it is passed over here and finally for d7 it is passed through this line okay so now this is how the circuit diagram is drawn by the given tooth table and the expressions are formed and the table the circuit diagram is built okay so this is how the encoder and the decoder works let us see the difference between the decoder and the demultiplexer so the decoder is Related to demultiplexer here, the basically decoder or the logical circuit which decodes an encrypted input stream from one to the another format. That means we are having an input which is in one form. For example, a uh, two by three. For example, we are saying it is an uh, we are decoding into three by eight means we are having a, a three input is converted to eight outputs okay so like there is the decoder and demultiplexer is it is a combination circuit which routes a single input signal to the one of the several output signals we know that demultiplexer is a distributor okay it is selecting one and it is passing to the several output lines okay and now in the, that the case of the input output n number of input lines are here and it will give 2 power n output lines same way here n number of select lines and it will give 2 power n number of output lines and inverse of uh, decoder is the inverse of encoder and uh, multiplexer is the in, inverse of demultiplexer okay and then the other differences are the application is this encoder helps in in, and it is an in, encoder helps in reduction of the bits or data encoding we can convert the particular number into uh, some other code that is encoding okay and multiplexer it is used in the distribution of the data or switching whether we can pass the data to multiple uh, switches or we can pass data to multiple lines okay and then next is the uses it is used for changing the format of the instruction into the machine specific language what are the instructions given in one language the instruction is assembly language instruction it is converted into the machine specific language and the use of the demultiplexer is it is used as a routing device to route the data coming from one signal to multiple signals you can pass these values from one signal to multiple signals is demultiplexing okay and then select line there are no select lines in the in, in the in encoder in the decoder but there are some select lines in the multi because demultiplexer they the select lines based on select lines only only the data will be passed on to the multiple lines or the single lines plexing that is multiplexer or demultiplexer okay and then implementation majority implemented in the networking application that means they are this in decoder are used in the networking applications where the demultiplexer are used in the the data intensive applications where data has to be changed from one form to the another form okay these are all the differences between the decoder and the demultiplexer hope it is simple and easy to follow and thanks for watching